Hi guys, this is Ash here and this is my tutorial on the easiest method of rooting the Samsung Galaxy Note phone. So just to show you guys, I'm currently uh, on a stock version of the ROM. I'm uh, running KL3 and I do not have any super user permissions on this. Super user access is needed but you could not, but could not be acquired. So my phone is not rooted. And uh, I have released a few videos on how to root the phone already, but this is applicable to all firmwares, no matter what firmware you're on, uh, no matter if it's LT, LC1 or LA4 or whatever it is, it works and it retains all the data that you already have, your call logs, your messages, your apps installed, all of them stay the same way. So this is the easiest method to root your phone and it is 100% safe and it does not mess with the counter either. So don't worry about it, just go ahead hit up link 1 and download uh, Odin and uh, hit up link 2 and okay let me get to that so guys uh, first off hit up link 1 and download Odin v1.85.zip uh, right click and extract it and this is what you'll get and now uh, click on link 2 and that will take you uh, to this page uh, this method, uh, I mean, I'm, I've got this method from Bodivas, so uh, credits to him. I will mention him in the uh, uh, description as well. So, uh, guys, over here, you can go ahead and select any of the no wipe ROMs, uh, any any of these. Just uh, select them and download them, and uh, make sure that you select the the ROM you select says no wipe and not wipe, because if you select a wipe ROM, you're gonna lose all your data and your phone is gonna be. Uh, back to factory as in uh, no call logs, no contacts, uh, no apps, everything will be deleted so uh, ensure you select a no wipe ROM and guys uh, it doesn't matter what country it is you can just download any any ROM uh, if you're gonna go ahead and install a, a custom ROM in the future it doesn't matter select anything you want so I'm, I'm from India but I'm gonna use the Singapore ROM so this is the one I'm gonna download I have downloaded already so Pause the video over here, go ahead, first get Samsung keys installed, uh, I'm sure you probably would already have it in your system, then head up link 1 and get uh, Odin, and then link 2, and that is to this page, and get any any uh, firmware that you want downloaded, and downloaded. And uh, once you're done, get back. Uh, so guys, uh, we're back, and uh, I've downloaded Odin and the uh, rooted version over here, I have it already, just right click and extract both of these. And once you've done that, go ahead, right click, and run as administrator with Odin. So guys, now we get to the phone. What we need to do is hold the down volume, power, and the home buttons at the same time for about 10 seconds. Uh, just keep holding it, and you should get uh, into the download mode. So once you get into the, down into the download mode, you can let it go. Again, guys, it's volume down, power, and home at the same time. All right. Now you can go ahead and hit volume up to continue. Okay guys, now if you can see it says custom binary download no. And that means the counter has not been affected by this procedure because I've done this procedure before I made this video. So this is just to reassure you guys that in case you have to go in for warranty tomorrow, uh, you can go ahead and follow my Unroot tutorial and go ahead and get your phone set back to uh, default and you can send it out for warranty. Okay guys, now what we do is uh, once we are in the download mode, just get your uh, micro USB cable and connect it to the phone and then we're done with the phone, we can just leave the phone as it is ok guys, now what we do with Odin is uh, first thing guys, uh, leave everything as default make sure that repartition and flash lock are not checked and it's just auto reboot and F3 is time that I checked these are checked by default so you don't have to worry about it but just double check it you know to be safe now, hit, now click PDA and navigate to wherever you've unzipped rooted underscore stock underscore odx underscore whatever firmware that you've downloaded and now select the rooted the dot tar dot md5 file just click on it and select it under pda uh, the next two are optional but i'm gonna do it anyway uh, click on phone and select the modem file and csc and select the csc file and now all you need to do is just click start and that's it guys your phone is rooted uh, that's pretty much it, it's done. So all we need to do now is wait for this procedure to be completed and you've got all your apps and all your data retained and your phone is rooted as well. So I'll be back with you guys once this uh, uh, once this is completed. So I'm back guys and the process is almost done. So 
this is what you see on your phone so it's done there the phone will reboot uh, so we are up guys and uh, as you can see all my apps still remain uh, okay now let's see whether super user permissions work so let me open up say mobile loading checking super user support and a love so mobile loading is loaded up so that's pretty much it guys when it comes to rooting the Samsung Galaxy Note N7000 uh, if you guys have any questions leave it in the comment section or send me an email because you know this is gonna be technical and I'd like to have a back and forth conversation where I know what I've been talking to you so my email ID or my Facebook and Twitter contact details are all in the, all in the description uh, guys if you just want to root your phone and that is if you just want to run root apps this is enough for you so if you guys want to go ahead and install custom ROMs onto this phone you need to go ahead and install a custom recovery so if you guys need to do that click on the link that's annotated on the top of the video or in the description and that will take you to my two to three minutes it's a two to three minute procedure guys my tutorial on how to install uh, a custom recovery it's gonna it's gonna be one file downloaded for about five mb and just uh flash it on it's gonna be a two minute video so just go ahead and get that done so that you can install custom roms if you want to so once again that's pretty much it guys thanks a lot for watching uh before you go hit the like button and subscribe to my videos because i'll be making more videos on the Galaxy Note and possibly the HTC One X and the iPad 3 as well. Uh, not if I get the Acer Iconia. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.